High tech pushing law enforcement out. We just cannot get into it. There's, there's, there's no way around it. How encryption is impacting law enforcement's ability to solve homicides and child porn cases. Apple and the FBI may have a temporary truce in their battle over breaking cell phone encryption, but the war itself is far from over. Yeah, local law enforcement and area prosecutors are becoming increasingly frustrated with the roadblocks to getting info from devices that could put away killers and child predators. Guy Gordon takes us to the front lines of that battle. Already this year, the Computer Crimes Unit for the Michigan State Police behind these doors has processed 500 electronic devices, most of them smartphones, most of them connected to homicides or child pornography. These are the high caliber weapons this cyber SWAT team uses to extract digital evidence. Muscular processors, terabytes of server space, even working on the microscopic level. A murder victim's phone can be an electronic diary documenting that victim's last hours. For a suspect, it's data that could clear them or convict. But state police are finding an increasing percentage of devices are impossible to enter. I would say roughly 30 to 40 percent of the phones we get in have some type of either passcode or encryption on it that we just can't get around. Michigan State Police and most police agencies respect concerns over the right to privacy and cell phone security. After all, the encryption also protects us from identity theft and a host of other crimes. They've remained neutral on the Apple case, but they understand the growing demand for unbreakable security comes with a cost. But the officers have told us we really need to get into this. We believe the killer's identity is on this device. And there's probably been 20, 30 of those in the last year that we just cannot get into. There's, there's, there's no way around it. There's nothing we can do to get into those devices. It's got to be frustrating because you know a killer's going free. It's frustrating for everybody. I can understand the, the privacy issue and, you know, they're spying on us. But in this case, I feel it was a key. It's no abstract debate for the mother of the 14-year-old Armada girl who was beaten to death on a bike trail. The suspect's cell phone had pictures of the helmet he beat her with and the tennis shoes he wore, items James Van Callis later discarded. Had his cell phone had high-level encryption... Do you think he might have gone free? Possibly, yeah. I think that phone was a key, very key element in this. When we spoke to the jurors afterwards, all that evidence that we got off of their phones really tied it up tight for us. Tools like this extraction software can defeat some security. It tests 20,000 passwords a second, and it will take up to a week to try every key to this electronic lock. But newer systems would take hundreds of years, and even this one ended in failure. In the last year, we've hit more dead ends than I've hit in the first 23 years of my, of my career. So we're, it's, it's getting more and more relevant to us. Boyk and Smith have reached out to federal sources to obtain the product or strategy that unlocked the terrorist cell phone. And see if there's any way that we can borrow their technology or hire the same people that they hired to get in. Now, so far, they haven't exactly been forthcoming about any of that, and I don't blame them. Long-term solutions? Some lawmakers are proposing setting up a commission to look into privacy issues. There is draft legislation in Congress giving federal judges the authority to force computer companies to break their own devices if there's a warrant. Civil liberties experts believe that would undermine the safety for all of us. Those keys don't only benefit the FBI and the police. Once those keys are out there, they benefit every bad guy or every person who has some reason to maliciously use that information to get into our security. Even if the feds do share this new key with local law enforcement, it's only going to be a temporary victory because with every operating system upgrade, the encryption gets better. The lock changes. The old key becomes obsolete. It is a high-tech hot pursuit, and police fear the day is coming when they won't be able to catch up. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. And we look at all the fraud that's going on on the other side of things, like we've been talking about all the IRS getting right, right. So on the other hand, we keep trying to make it tougher and tougher. <laughs> Retinal scans, facial recognition. Exactly. So it's just that we're just we're just now getting down this. It's an journey. issue that's not going away no, anytime no yeah. soon. Yeah. All right.